Okay, so let's just see roughly how we would apply this to the, uh, the concept of abortion. So I, I don't intend to go into the details of abortion because there's a whole session just on abortion. But what I like to do is I just want to show you how this framework would be used in a case like this uh, related to abortion. So here, for example, the, the Muslim jurists would go to the verses of the Quran. Okay, so they would look into the verses of the Quran. So we have Surah Mu'minun and we see Surah Hajj. And in there, you'll see certain statements about Quran describing developmental stages of the embryo. Okay, so the Quran will say that we created man from uh, clay, then we placed the nutfa. So it describes a nutfa, which is like a, a, a drop of liquid in a place of rest, firmly fixed, which uh, many scholars consider as the process of implantation. Then we made the nutfa into an alaqa. Like, alaqa has a number of different meanings, a clock like appearance or uh, something which suspends. Uh, then of the alaqa, we made a mudra. A mudra is like a, a piece of meat. Then we made out of that mudra bones and clothed the bones with flesh. Then we developed out of it another creature. Khalqan akhar. Khalqan akhar, the fuqaha say that this is referring to insolment. This is now a human person that is insold. So and then we have Surah Hajj. We have indeed created you from dust, then from nutfa, from alaqa, then from a mudra, partly formed from mudra, ghayra mukhallaqa. Um, mudra partly unformed, mudra mukhallaka wa ghayra mukhallaka, partly formed, unformed. And what that really means is that there are stages within these particular phases where they are partly formed and the fully formed, etc. Okay, uh, so it gives us a, a bit of an idea about what we should be looking at in terms of how the Islamic approaches to embryological development and how we apply that to the science that we understand uh, uh, in, in that sense. Um, Okay, I think somebody's having a bit of a struggle trying. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so then we've got other verses. So we talk about he has created you in atwar stages. Then we created man from a um, mingled nutfa in order to try him. Uh, a nutfa amshaj, um, a nutfa that's in essence uh, akhlat, it's mixed. So that would be like fertilization, for example. And then it then so there are many verses like this, okay? And we get a we get a picture that gets drawn from that. 